So we are going to simulate case where we have a rod of the length of the 24 inches inclined under 60 degrees from of horizon of horizontal plane and at the other end of the rod we have a vertical force looking downwards so the weight of the 100 pounds we are going to ask ourselves what are going to be the reactive torque what is our moment or our reactive moment in a point a and what are going to and what are our reactive forces so to make this model we will start in solidworks by making a rod essentially just by making like a rectangular prismatic extrusion where we are going to create it in length to be a 24 and the arbitrarily let's say that this is a thickness of a one so we make a rectangle 24 by one and then we extrude it for another one inch that's all what we have to make as a model now i'm going to save this model as i will call it the rod reactive mode. now as always i will use for a statics cases the motion simulation i'm going to make assembly from part click ok and i'm going to right click in a parametric tree on that part and to make it to float now i'm going to start mating this part before i start mating i will also create a vertical axis which i will use to orient the force as i start setting up simulation so to create that vertical axis i will use reference geometry axis and i will use cross section of global front and global right plane which is my y-axis so here is now my y-axis i'm going to create a mate which will mate my bottom edge okay i'm going to create a mate which is going to my bottom edge i'm going to mate it to the top plane click ok now i'm going to mate the side face with the front plane to prevent motion in a z direction or in a direction inside and out of the inside and out of our screen and now i'm going also to mate the bottom face under 60 degree angle with the top plate so i'm going to click on the bottom face of the rod and i'm going to click on the global front uh, on the global top plane global top plane and i'm going to click on the angle and i'm going to specify that the angle is 60 degree yes and flip dimension to be under the 60 okay it is still under defined so let's click okay let's see where we are under defined of course this can still move so now i'm going to constrain it motion in the x direction by mating my edge with the right plane so i'm going to the last mate is the edge and the right plane click ok now this is a fully defined model I'm going to look at it from the front plane because that's my analysis going to be okay now if i look into the mates it's a good idea to decide which mate is which one and which mate actually and to rename it like this mate will prevent in the x direction motion so i can rename the mate just by hovering over it i'm going to rename this one x direction because this mate restrain my motion along x direction 
this mate is the z direction, which I don't really care, motion in the z direction. Going to rename it. Z direction translation. Coincident one is going to be the Y direction translation. I'm going to rename it again. Y direction translation. And the angle mate between the top plane and the side face actually prevent it from rotating. And that force which is going to act vertically here, is actually working against that mate. So I will call that mate like the, uh, okay. I will call this mate MA mate. So that mate will, be, will give me a reactive moment. So I'm going to rename this mate. I will call it maybe the torque. Torque Z. And that make okay. Now I'm ready to set up the motion simulation. Before motion simulation, I'm going to check for an add-in, and the add-in that need to be active is a motion simulation. Now, if I go down and I and I hover mouse over my tab, which is called motion study one, left click on it, it will activate my motion simulation panel. All what I now need to do is to define a force, which is a little arrow. I will click on the arrow. I'm going to choose the edge where I'm going to apply the force. And I'm going to choose from the parametric tree axis one for a force direction. And as you can see, as I choose an axis one, the force is oriented vertically downwards. And the amount of the force that I'm going to put according to our simulation is a 100 pounds. Looking down, 100 pounds. And my simulation is ready to run. Before I run it, I would like to watch it into this way. To run the simulation, I will click on a calculate tab. First good sign is that nothing moves. Now, to extract the reactive forces and moments, we just look at the names of our mates. I will click on a results and plot icon in a motion simulation, left click on it. And I forgot to switch my motion analysis. Okay, let's recalculate it. So don't forget to switch this to emotion analysis. Then we go to the react, we go to the results and plots. Categories are forces, and let's first get our reaction moment. Subcategory is a reaction moment, resulting component magnitude, and the mate around which we are looking is torque Z. Okay. And we click OK and no and look what we got we got exactly what we expected 1200 pound force now let's get some more results here 1200 pound inches torque pardon not force 1200 pound inch of torque now let's see our vertical and horizontal component of force so again we will click on a result direction we are going to close to choose forces. In this case, it will be a reaction force. And let's see first horizontal component, which is X component. And this will be in a in this mate against the right face. Click OK. Again, choose no. And was this to expect? And let's do another one. Forces, reaction force, 
and the component will be the y component. Pardon, it will be a yeah, we can go with the component or we can go with the magnitude, and that will be in a y direction translation. And what is our vertical component of force? 100, what we started. Okay, so this concludes this simulation.